friends welcome back to my youtube channel uh, today i am showing some of the coordination drawings uh, sections how we can create some sections so here is the plan is arranged uh, as per some coordinations so here is cable tray and other gas lines and a uh, lot of uh, firefighting pipes are there so how we can make uh, some sections for example this is the notacad how to do these sections okay so in revit it will be very easy to make a section so i am planning to do some sections for uh, in autocad from this coordination drawing so first of all we will we'll, uh, make some sections for this area uh, first i will make viewport just type viewport and uh, i will make some two parts for this one two horizontal viewport i am making so you can see here uh, some um, areas we can show from down and I need to make some sections. For example, this is the wall of the uh, architectural building wall and I need to make some sections for this thing. So first I need to draw this line and I'm, I'm just typing X line, X line for here and just one for the wall I'm just creating one X line and um, here also we will have uh, something in this in this area we have some uh, columns and everything so just uh, we just make uh, one wall over here so then uh, i just need to show you something like uh, uh, this is section ee make it like section e and e and this is our base uh, the, the the building height is uh, the floor height is around uh, the floor height is around uh, 3 point 3.7 and the ceiling height is around uh, 2.7 so i'll make a rectangle rec rectangle and i made one wall over here and this column i need to stretch up to here just you can stretch like this so it will connect it to up to here and here also i am just stretching so just stretch this uh, hatches also so this is our um, i'm stretching this one up to here and here also i made out one wall like this and I am deleting this X line so two walls you can see it and I just need to hatch it that area go to here hatch type hatch and go here and this add select object just uh, enter and same thing over here also just uh, go to here and uh, select the add object so that was created and we can change the hatches for this one so for uh, select that one and uh, you just need to make like this and we can give some scales for that one uh, for example 10 or 25 i can give it so same hatches you can just uh, match with this one and even the color also you can change whichever you like so i am giving this one otherwise you can give it a like uh, eight eight number color for that one or otherwise nine whichever you like you can give that one yeah I'm just giving this color white then then what we can we are seeing from here to there so there will be one door so just to give a, we need to give one door over here like this and the door height which should be uh, two point we will make one x line over here and uh, you can say like one those two thousand one hundred okay then we can make a door over here up to here just delete these lines and just give a door like this two two side door just to make a just branch like this and this is called this is the door okay so you can you can make like this also sorry make like this an opening like that so you can make it like this so i'm just trimming this area trim this area so this is the door uh two side opening door and uh, next is like uh, dbs we need to place okay pdb ldb and other things so already we have some um, dbs over here so just uh, we can copy this one copy this one and uh, we need to place that one over here so i am i'm placing at the center of this db just select like this and just uh, move this one to the center move command and put it in the center and the other things i will just download i just undo that one and then move it over here and another db you can see from here so that also we need to show it so the height of the db uh, top of height is i think around uh, uh, 1800 so just to say like this yeah it is top of the db is that one and uh, 
another another db we need to place it over here and another one db also you need to place over here so just to make a x line and copy this one this db and place it in the center of this lines so that was created and you can measure the height to the top from the top how much it will come like 1800 and uh, this i width also you can make it like this and even you need to show some heights of the uh, db also and then you can give the uh, leader for this one so whichever whichever we need to give l type le and just give the annotation for this one i just need to give annotation for another one also so we can copy the text from here and just to move up to here we will place something over here okay so just I need to stretch this one so this db the first db is the color also you can change it this is a green color so just give a green color and this one also green color so just give like this and i can match with this 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 one and uh, this db is PD, pdb so i'm just in copying this one no otherwise yeah and we can place over here and match with this text right so that was clear over here and uh, next db is ldb so n copy it just to block you can copy like this and place it over here and uh, match with this one so two db i created a fight and just to draw like this up to here and uh, make it align with this text and move to uh, up to here so these db names we are giving and another one you can give the same way like this and just match with this one and uh, this db is udb so just uh, n copy enter and just copy this one up to here and match with this one so match with this line magenta sorry this one you can align with this one yes so that was created then but the another part is like uh, you can see the cable trace okay so cable trace it's showing like uh, uh, the cable trace running uh, at some level so so 3400 we can say 3400 okay then we can take some uh, some kind of uh, kind of this one support and i am copying that one and i will place over here uh, wherever the section is created i am just placed it here for for drawing cable tray and uh, where it was this one right so this cable tray we can say we can center of this one we can say it like uh, uh, it will come uh, come here so make an extra line in the center of this one enter it and uh, we just need to move this one up to here and uh, this cable tray size is around uh, two, 300 okay so just make a 300 from this one to here three, no 150 115 each side so just to make one 150 over here and just stretch this one up to here this cable tray and this cable tray up to here so 300 will come and this one you can just uh, make it the support you can make it from here 25 just uh, 25 m gap so so here also you can make it 25 gap here and the cable tray is uh, coming like that you can make it this one at the center of this uh, this cable tray so equal part will come and here also you can stretch it this one up to here and this one also you can put it up to here and here is three cable tray same size of cable tray so just need to be make like this x line in the center of this one and you can just place the cable tray the same height and move it like this place it like this so it is clear so these are these are the cable tray and dropping to the panel right so you need to drop the panel of over here and just make a rectangle from this end to this end and stretch it down stretch it down up to the panel sorry undo it uh, just uh, stretch it this one up to the panel up to the panel here perpendicular okay then uh, we can just uh, hatch this one i'll just uh, hatch this one and i need to select the object and hatch it and some uh, kind of uh, 
this one you can cope, match with this this type of cable tray so just to match with this hatch and you can just, uh, do it like this and even this one you can copy and paste it over here so th three cable trays are coming uh, right so the one part is going over here and one part is going up to here okay so you just need to make the another rectangle the size of the cable tray so just uh, need to do like this and we can we can put one x line also here x line up to here so what we can do we just need to take an offset from here 100 mm or 50 mm just do this one and just to make a uh, cable tray where it is coming so you can just uh, put like that and just uh, match with this one so automatically we can hatch it this all the areas this area and this area and this area and this area so you can hatch it that one and it and just match with this one so automatically what will happen this cable tray is coming over here and dropping down the panel and uh, <coughs> you can give the uh, exact size of the cable trays so this is the power cable tray. i'm copying that one and i'm placing over here placing over here in the alignment of this one move to that one and just uh, just give an, a leader for that one 300 mm cable tray 350 mm cable tray and another one uh, this is also you can just uh, draw to send back so you can see clearly and here also you need to make another cable tray tag and down also you can make one another cable tray tag this one leader and going to here just match with this one and one another one another cable tray also there so just copy it and make it like this and uh, make it like this so all dimension all cable tray dimensions are same so you can make out not a like this all the dimensions and everything so just just uh, make it like this and uh, here also you can make one cable tray it is coming up to here sorry just to make a x line X line is crossing. Okay, so just to make one X line, I'm I'm just doing the cable tray part only. Just to enter it, and uh, here also you can make it uh, that one. Enter it, and one cable tray is coming up to here only. Stretch it that and uh, stretch this one up to here. Up to here. Okay, then one one the cable tray is going there. So just to make it uh, make it like this. Just uh, I need to make it this one in the center of the center of the cable tray, bit of the cable tray, and copy this one, this part, and this part, this part, and uh, put it over here. This no need. Okay, so this cable tray is coming from here, and it is going like this and dropping down to the panel. I think this uh, this sections made it, uh, you you got the idea and you just need to be give all the size of the uh, dimensions also you need to show it uh, this cable tray which which are the which this cable tray and all the details you can give it and from wall how much distance it is coming so that dimensions also you can give and the cable tray from here how much it will come so that time all dimensions vertical and horizontal dimensions you can give how much distance from here that kind of uh, things you can make it here and you can make the door in another uh, another way so this is the arrangement of the cable tray sections so once you've done that one you just uh, i will i will show you some pipes also there but uh, this is the part of the cable tray sections dro dropping down to the panel so if you like my video, please subscribe my channel. It's totally related to um, MEP electrical and uh, electrical and uh, care, AutoCAD and Rivet. So thanks for watching. Thank you. Thank you for watching.